Hello everyone and welcome to my CompTIA A Plus 1101 video series. In this video, we will review Objective 2.3, which includes wireless networking technologies. We'll look at the different frequency bands, such as 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, and discuss their unique characteristics, advantages, and potential downsides. I'll finish up the video with a brief overview of Bluetooth technology and how it is related. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off by answering the question, what are Wi-Fi frequency bands? Wi-Fi routers use radio frequencies to send data to your wireless devices. These frequencies are divided into two bands, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, and you'll need to know about both for the 2201101 exam. The majority of routers can transmit on both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands, earning them the title of dual band routers. Before we dive into 2.4 and 5 GHz frequencies, let's take a look at Wi-Fi channels and why they are used. Wi-Fi channels are the medium through which your wireless network sends and receives data. The management and optimization of wireless communication between devices on a network involves treating each channel like lanes on a highway. This approach enables multiple devices to communicate simultaneously without causing interference. By using different channels, interference from other devices and networks operating on the same frequency is minimized. Selecting the optimal channel can enhance Wi-Fi coverage and performance, resulting in faster and more reliable connections. Also, in densely populated areas where multiple networks overlap, choosing the right channel helps reduce congestion and ensures smoother data transmission. The frequency range for 2.4 GHz is between 2.4 GHz and 2.484 GHz. It offers 14 channels, yet only three of them are non-overlapping, which is 1, 6, and 11. They are the ones that are most commonly used. Overlapping channels can lead to interference and reduce network speeds. One of the advantages of using 2.4 GHz frequency for wireless networks is that it covers a larger area due to its longer wavelength and can be used in settings where there are walls and obstacles. Also, most older devices support this frequency. However, there are some disadvantages, such as slower speeds compared to 5 GHz, and it is more susceptible to interference from other other devices like microwaves and cordless phones. The optimal use case for 2.4 GHz networks include larger office spaces where web browsing and email are the primary network requirements. An example floor plan of a 2.4 GHz network includes the use of seven access points or APs to ensure effective Wi-Fi coverage. To optimize performance, only non-overlapping channels such as 1, 6, and 11 are used. This configuration follows the 1, 6, 11 channel reuse pattern, which is a well-known strategy in designing Wi-Fi networks. 5 GHz operates within a frequency range of 5.150 GHz to 5.825 GHz. It offers up to 24 non-overlapping channels, which allows for more choices to prevent interference. 5 GHz frequency offers advantages such as faster data rates than 2.4 GHz and less interference from household items. The disadvantages are a shorter range compared to 2.4 GHz and a weakened signal by walls and obstacles. It is best suited for smaller, more open office spaces and scenarios where speed and performance are crucial, such as those in streaming, gaming, and video conferencing. Introduced in 1998, Bluetooth is an industry standard similar to that of 802.11 and is known for its use in wireless personal area networks, or PANs. It enables the connection of wireless devices, such as headsets, speakers, keyboards, and mice, to computers, smartphones, and tablets. These days, Bluetooth is widely supported by most laptops and smartphones using an unlicensed 2.4 GHz band, which is the same frequency band used by 802.11. Bluetooth devices are broken down into four classes according to their range. The majority of Bluetooth devices fall under class 2, which means that they have a maximum range of 10 meters. Alright guys, so that wraps up Objective 2.3, which focuses on wireless networking technologies. Don't forget that you can find this presentation linked below, and also check out the questions that I have for you, the practice exam questions, those are also going to be linked below as well. If you have any questions or comments about this objective, please go ahead, leave those below, and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll see you guys in the next objective.